we plan to have a private sector partnership, either BOT or BOO in our infrastructure development. Uh, needs companies that are ready to invest in some of the highways and bridges and toll them. We need a huge interested party in telecommunication. Welcome to today's video. Today I'm going to talk about a trendy story making waves online recently. The story of how His Excellency Bolantinobu came to bear the name Bolantinobu. This is what I saw online from Cheese Lover and other sources online, so I decided to make a video out of it. According to the popular Instagram blog Cheese Lover, Paula Tenobu's real name is Amoda Ogunleri. The Cheese page published an article outlining how Paula Tenobu stole the identity and became a drug don, as well as his link to popular money bag eMoney. A Facebook page, Nigeria Circle, also wrote this. Paula Tenubu's real name is Yekini Amoda Ogunleri from Irabiji, Ogun State. This is what is contained in his primary and secondary school certificates, and that is why he has refused to tender them before INEC. This lover described Paula Tenubu's love life relationship with his adopted mother, early childhood, and traveled during the United States in a series of blogs. According to the blog, he has had a drug cartel and has blood on his hands. Let me read an interesting piece of post for you from Jis Lover. Hello Toa Toa, GLB Nation. The most anticipated story is here. The story of how the Nigeria Pablo Escobar, if you are a filmmaker or story writer, this might just serve as one story you don't want to miss. Everybody get your chair, popcorn, juice, it's about to be a movie. Once upon a time, a boy was born on March 29, 1935, in a small town called Erabiji, Oshun State to the family of Ogunleri, ambitious, bright, but his parents were so poor. After giving birth to him, they left Irabiji to Ibadan, where he had his primary school education. While growing, he was a smart and brilliant boy in class, but stubborn. On different occasions, his parents were summoned because, because it's either he is in a gang fighting his classmates or his missing school. Long story cut short, the bright boy finished his primary school was to be a road to junior secondary school. That was the last his parents had of him. He made up his mind to go fend for himself in Lagos. These days, Lagos Island women were the ready. So when he left Ibadan and headed straight to Lagos Island, it was there he met a woman who was the then woman leader of the Awolowo Ashon group, a very rich and connected woman. Her name is Abibatu Mogaji. The woman picked interest in him and took him in. He then began to work as the woman's house help. He cleaned the house and did little things in the house. Although the woman had house helps in the house, but she chose to just put Amode through some tests. She gave the boy a series of loyalty tests and he passed all without flinching. There and then he vowed to adopt the boy. Least I forget, Mogaji was also one top drug dealer back in the day. If you were in those days, you will know drug barons were everywhere in Lagos Island. They still exist now, but because of the media, a lot of them are now coded. The elder brother of Magaji had just lost his daughter, whose name was Polatinobu. The girl was ill for a little period of time, 
but then passed on. Before her death, she was Bola Tinubu. Before the girl's death, the father of the girl, who is the famous Kafaro Tinubu, and the brother to the famous Iyaloja, adopted mother of Tinubu, had planned on sending her to school in the USA. The whole process was done and entered before the girl died. As at that time, Abibatu Mogaji needed, the, needed to test the capability of her newly recruited boy. So she talked to her brother, who was a top police officer then. If there was a way, Amoda Ogunleri can use the deceased daughter's traveling visa and document to travel to the USA. The only challenge they had then was the gender issue. The late Polatinobu was a gay. The new person who wants to take over her visa, is, her visa and name is a boy. It was not easy to achieve, but with Abibatu's connection and name back then, the letter succeeded, and that was how a proper and hardened drug baron was born. The era BG boy first operation went smoothly as he was super smart and there in those days. That was how era BG boy entered the USA. Those days traveling was not hard as it is now, no stress at all. So he was shuffling Lagos and USA and was working hard and was working hand in hand with Abibat and some famous drug lords in Lagos back then. Long story, sh long story short, he met his first baby mama during his course and that one gave birth to his first son, GD Tinubu late. There were issues then as Abibatu Mogaji told Amode Point Black that having a family or child is not safe for their kind of business. That was how Amode couldn't build his first home because of the deadly job they were in. Long story short, he caught another lady pregnant and that one gave birth to Folashed Tinubu Ojo, currently Iya Oloja. G is there on Folashed too, but we will get there. The work was going on smoothly and Amode Ogunleri was getting promotions. Then, boom, one of his flights from Lagos to USA, he met a beautiful air hostess, Bomi Oshunake. They exchanged contacts and their love story started. The rule was not to have a baby together, just pure enjoyment. Because at that time, Bomi was also a big fish, rolling with high and mighty because of her type of job. She gets to meet people of class and caliber, so neither of them wanted the pregnancy. One thing led to another, and that was how Bomi got pregnant. It was such a hard blow on Amode as he didn't know how to tell his boss, adopted mother, so he suggested that Bomi abort the baby. Bomi took her grant that she won't abort any baby they eventually had a baby and named him Uluwa Seye Eniyan. The child of that day is now the famous Seye Tinubu. Not many know that Rimi Tinubu is not the mother of Seye Tinubu. At the time of betting Seye, Tinubu had made a big name for himself in the drug industry. He started executing jobs himself and a lot of people he met in the industry were cleared back then. If you know, you know. You can't be a drug lord and attain a high level without having multiple blows on your neck. They can pass for hired assassins. Long story short, that was how Tinubu started running his own empire. Back then, after trying to leave all his former boss and start his own proper drug empire, he had issues in the USA and he was almost busted. He had to run back to Nigeria for a while to lay low and during those period, he got a job with an oil and gas company as cover up 
but ran his main business on the net. It was after he ran back to Nigeria that he met a beautiful lady called Balikis Oluremi Ude Benson. This time around, Amode Ogunleri was not serving any boss again, so he had so he has determined he was going to settle down with the woman since he is trying to lay low. He decided to use the period to quickly marry a woman properly as he already had three kids out of wedlock. Remy's sister did the introduction and all things went well. The marriage produced three girls, Zinab, Abisola Tinubu, Habibat Tinubu and Olayinka Tinubu. Many do not know they have children together and the rumor been peddled about it that Remy didn't give birth to any child for Amode Ogunleri, where it is the case of the kids that don't make them flaunt they, them kids often. Yoruba we say a house built with saliva instead of blocks will in no time be brought down by the dew drops. Such is the case of Zinab Tinubu, a spoiled brat from the womb. It is not just Zinab. Check most politicians' children, you will understand better. Zinab started taking drugs at an early age and this damaged her a lot, even after purchasing a lot of properties with drugs money for the kids and made them stay all their life in the UK. They still didn't make Amode proud. Currently, Zinab is in the Brosfield prison in England. It happened that after taking her drugs as usual that day, he went on the street to assault a police officer in the UK and she was charged. The parents tried all they could just to make sure the matter was buried, but it didn't work. It was why in prison they noticed she had mental disorder and they had to transfer her to a mental home. As it is now, she suffers both. Now, Amode Ogunlere needed to re-strategize because the police were already on his trail in the US, so he needed to find a way to establish his drug cartel in Nigeria without having any government issues. He decided he devised a means to find his way to the top in politics in such a way that even if he kills anybody in Nigeria and they find a gun on him, he won't be questioned. This was how he ventured into politics, but he made sure his cartel were running well. He needed to hand over and face politics squarely, plus he spent a lot of money just to get key posts in short while. And of course, his target was to recover ever more while on seat. This was how he met a young guy on the street of Papa who was a flight agent. His name is Okunkwo Emeka. Rings a bell, right? Emeka, money, e-money, to be continued. This is the gist from Gist Lover. We are going to update as we keep getting updates from Gist Lover. Make sure to come back to this channel to get more updates. Share, subscribe, like and comment. See you in the next episode.